Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from the Investment Advisor Summit in Austin, Texas. Joining me for this conversation, we have Kerry Greenspan. He's the National Director for Investments over at Comerica Wealth. We're going to take a look at wealth management or investment management. Kerry, it's great to have you with us on set. Can you define the difference between wealth and investment management? Uh, great question. Pleasure to be with you, you, Jill. Um, I think here at the summit, at, at the Investment Summit, what we're seeing is a great hybrid of both wealth management and investment management firms. I think the way that I would probably define an investment management firm is uh, a company that really specializes in a niche of the marketplace or maybe large-scale asset management. But what they probably don't regularly do is to take a client's full picture of their financial health or their financial well-being versus a wealth management firm maybe takes a very, very, it's often used word, holistic view mm -hmm. about not only the planning aspects, the estate aspects, business succession planning, how legal entities are structured for a family or for an individual, whether or not they have a business, the really entire financial picture really for not just one generation, but multiple generations. All right, now does wealth or financial planning, does that um, impact investment decisions or decision making? It, it certainly can, mm -hmm. without question, because you're often looking at time frames, you're often looking at whether or not it's one year, two year, five year, or a 20 year plan. And often when you try to look at what are capital market assumptions, different asset classes have different expected returns, different expected risk areas. You want to take that appropriate risk area for the appropriate time frame. So long-term asset management or long-term wealth management will often have an effect upon your asset allocation in short periods of time as well. All right, now high net worth individuals, do they care more about asset growth or asset preservation? That's another great question. Um, we have very, very high net worth individuals that often have made tremendous amounts of money and you would find that they would just be very, very careful about that money. It really depends upon their own unique situation. I think one of the foundations about answering that question is getting to know your client, and getting to know their needs and their family needs. I think that's what holistic wealth management really does. You can't make a blanket statement as to whether or not they're more risk oriented or less. Mm -hmm. It's an individual question and an individual answer. All right, the good old KYC, and that was actually my next question. Absolutely. Do high net worth in, uh, investors, do they care more about being conservative or more high risk, or does it depend on their age and their goals? And You know, we find it's remarkable that uh, most of our clients really understand risk, but it's the risk that they've had in their own business. It's the risk in their family. They don't always understand securities markets. They don't always understand asset classes. They don't always understand what the mathematics are behind risk management. So I, I think really what it comes down to, again, it's going back to the goals base. What do their goals really need? What do they mean? How do you facilitate them? Um, it's not a blanket answer, it's an individual answer. All right, and more importantly, how important is it for advisors to understand their clients' needs and goals? It's just extraordinarily important. Um, whether or not it be investment management or very, very large-scale wealth management for intergenerational uh, transfer of wealth, every advisor, no matter what, they, what, what their persuasion, what their legal entity is, has to really take the time, individual time, and whatever time is necessary to make sure that every client is tended for, mm -hmm. they're, they're cared about, and you really understand their family's goals and their individual goals as well. All right, Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. Great insight. Pleasure to and be here. And thanks for Jill. joining me throughout the day on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.